Hello, I'm Peter Purvis and I'm uh, here with vet Luke Gamble at his practice in the New Forest to talk about something rather important, lungworm awareness. Now this is something we all as pet owners need to be very clued up upon. How do we keep our dogs happy? And most of all, how do we keep them healthy? So Luke, the really big question first, what exactly is lungworm? Lungworm, Angiostrongalus fossorum, is a parasite that infects dogs. And the problem is that the adult worm lives in the heart and the major blood vessels supplying the lungs. And how do dogs get it? Well, they get it by ingesting an intermediate host, so slugs and snails. And it's not necessarily just the obvious great big slugs that we have to worry about. It's also the tiny little ones that we might not even see. And particularly, they can be found in water bowls, or they can be found in toys left out in the garden overnight. So if you, if you are leaving water out overnight, you shouldn't really do that. You should make sure it's fresh all the time. Yeah, well, fresh water is a given for any pet or any animal you're looking after. But unfortunately, dogs don't always go for fresh water, and that's part of the problem. They often stick their nose into muddy puddles or they're rooting through undergrowth, and that's when they can pick up these little slugs. Now, you say it affects the heart and lungs. That sounds very serious. It is really very serious? Yes, it is very serious. I mean, it can be fatal if it's left untreated for long enough. And it can present in a whole host of ways. So from non-specific illness, just a dog might not be itself, might be losing weight to coughing, bleeding, it might become anemic where it gets very, very pale, all the way through to seizures, fits, and very sadly, ultimately death. So once the dog ingests the slug or the snail, which contains a larval stage of the lungworm, that larval stage then mutates. And if we look at this video, we can talk through that. You can see a dog eating a slug or a snail. It takes it down into the stomach. Now this slug or a snail is infected with the third larval stage of this particular parasite. As the slug's digested in the stomach, the larvae is eating its way through the stomach lining and getting absorbed into the dog's bloodstream where it's going to the heart. That's where the larvae then grow into the adult worm, which lives in the heart in the major blood vessels supplying the lungs. It then lays eggs. These little eggs crawl up the lungs, up the windpipe, and they get swallowed back down into the dog where they pass out the other end. And that's when the slugs or the snails get on the dog poo and then they get infected. And then they're a risk for other animals. I wasn't aware of this. I'm sure many people are not aware of this. Is it a new illness? Yes, well, it is the new kid on the block. And in fact, you're not alone. A lot of people aren't aware of it. And a, and a recent survey conducted showed that at least a third of the British public, dog-only British public, don't really know about this particular sort of lungworm. And the number of cases have doubled since 2008. Well, that's absolutely ghastly. Is this treatable? Yes, thankfully it is treatable, but even better is it's preventable. That's good. And that's why people need to speak to their vet. Dog owners should really have a chat with their vet about the best way of dealing with this new horrible disease. Well, plenty of things to look out for. And it's uh, scary indeed, but at least I feel a little bit more informed. Now, if you need more information, remember the Bear Lungworm Campaign. And you can look it up on the website www.lungworm.co.uk.